Hello everyone, Manithrall here, and welcome back to a weekly update video for RuneScape. Now this week there is the Bank Rework Taster, Game Blast, and of course the Double XP Weekend that is coming this weekend. So do be prepared for this weekend, there's going to be a lot of wheeling and dealing, so if you have extra resources, Oh, excuse me, if you have extra resources, feel free to sell them, get some extra dough. But up first is the bank rework. So they're starting to release certain things into the game uh, for the bank rework as a whole, but they're releasing bits and pieces as they get completed, and we get uh, our first taste this week. Okay, so this week, the wise old man... Uh, functionality of being able to go through your bank and getting rid of the junk that's actually now going to be a feature within your bank. Uh, Diango and stuff like your costume room it's now actually accessible in your bank. You don't actually have to go to Diango to get the stuff that you want and you don't have to go through that whole process it's right there all you have to do is click the link and you'll be able to go straight to it so it's no longer a hassle you can go there from any place same with the uh, uh, wise old man, you can finally do all that from one location from your favorite bank. Also, the managed presets, it loads better, but not only does it load better, there is uh, 10 shortcut keys for it, and it's visible as standard. So, also you can see what's in them if you mouse over it. So like if I were to go over here to the follow us, it would actually bring up and show you exactly what is in there. So a lot of handy little tricks, little tweaks, <coughs> but very handy. Uh, otherwise, this weekend, keep in mind it is Game Blast, so they're going to be having a 24-hour live stream that starts at 12 p.m. UTC on the 23rd. And it'll go until the end of that. Uh, there's also going to be live streams. There's going to be a bundle, relic bundle. 100% of the profits uh, from this go to the special effect foundation. Um, there's, like I said, there's a lootscape reward from this. But also, keep in mind, there is a double XP. So as they say here, if you have dual monitors, do rejoice. Because you can watch on one and play RuneScape on the other. If you don't want to miss out on your extra XP this weekend. Now, if you, I will actually check here um, to make sure, okay, yeah, the double XP weekend information is here, so that's actually fantastic news. Uh, okay, so the double XP weekend restrictions and availability is available for 72 hours, so it starts on the 23rd at 12 p.m. UTC and it lasts until the 26th at 12 UTC. And during that time, you have free range, you can get as much XP as you want, there's no restriction. Uh, you get 100% bonus XP for RuneScape members, and you get 20% if you are free to play. Uh, the restrictions are as follows. Anything with the assist system, XP lamps, tomes of experience, Ecto Funtus, cremation, dragon rider amulet, Auto Sanctifiers, Goldsmithing Gloves, Brawling Gloves, Player and House Altars, Wilderness Chaos Altar, Dungeoneering Wild Cards, Sacred Clay, Urns, Ancient Effigies are all excluded. Okay, and it does not apply to XP rewards given on hand in, so, you know, such as like, you know, quests, daily challenges, Jade Vine, Strange Rocks, and other distractions and diversions. It also does not apply to XP awarded on hand in of points and tokens for example Slayer points, Brimhaven agility tickets and Dungeoneering tokens. And the invention skill do keep in mind that item XP is gained at plus 50 percent making items on a workbench such as charge pack siphons etc so as long as you're there making the item that gives you plus 50 percent XP and disassembling random items, logs, potions etc will give 50% improved XP, and disassembling and siphoning equipment does not give improved XP. So if you have uh, augmented chaotic rapier, if you go to disassemble that, it will not give you more. If you go to siphon from it, it will not give you more. 
Uh, Iron Man, unfortunately, you do not get the bull XP this weekend. And if you already have bonus XP stored up and you do that skill, you will be using a 200% base XP. So do keep all that in mind when you go to do this. Uh, but yeah, it's 72 hours of gains for this, so do keep that in mind. And for the Lootscape, uh, you still got the deep sea animation going on for the regular streams, but also for the live streams this week. Um, it says from Friday 23rd February at 12 UTC game time to Saturday 24th, well, yeah, February 24th at 12 UTC is the Game Blast event, and during the Game Blast event, you will be able to get the Game Blast Tunic as a guaranteed drop. And if you're curious what the Game Blast Tunic is, it is right here for you guys. I uh, tried to get a nice little, whoa, wrong thing, nice little zoom up here for you guys. So that is what to expect from that. Kind of a neat little outfit piece. Uh, but the other live streams for the week is Tuesday, February 20th at 17 UTC. Game time, which is RuneScape Content Showcase. I love those. And of course, on Sunday 25th uh, at 1900 UTC, you got PVM with Mod Lee. And now we'll go straight on into the patch notes. Okay, so for patch notes, we have graphical. Players no longer lose their heads with the Masquerade Head Override if changing genders with the Makeover Mage. Uh, skills, dandies, and minigames. Compacting teleport jewelry with a full inventory no longer disconnects player. It is no longer possible to augment an already augmented Sun Spear ranged. Other, the clickable area of the user interface buttons within the main interface ribbon now includes the entirety of the button. Multiple items with emotes are now prohibited into, in the wilderness safe zone. The hyphen agility emotes are now prohibited in the wilderness safe zone. The wilderness safe zone west of the Black Knight's fortress now closes the customization tab. Filled room pouches are no longer tradable. Players are no longer able to teleport to Zenaris through fairy rings when carrying a war brand, when carrying warband supplies. Uh, wilderness slayer contracts no longer drop to the floor during PvP combat. Players can no longer equip bolts arrows using the Tyrannon Quiver if they lack the level requirements. Uh, combination potion effects now correctly halved when using the potion sharing ability in the co-op slayer group. Ninja cannons decaying in instances which are no longer available won't disconnect players anymore. The illuminated book of wisdom is now colored blue like its unilluminated version. The Ceridome and recolor of the God Book's override now matches the blue, new blue color of the Ceridome and God Book. And last week's hotfixes, sharing an action bar containing a lodestone teleport no longer displays the wrong information and causes disconnects. Slide puzzles no longer produce null errors upon opening and completing. The Predator Zodiac Festival the festival event no longer interface interferes with chat dialogue and causes it to unnecessarily close. Iron Man can no longer receive monkey trinkets and red envelopes. Players can no longer claim gold mining outfit pieces from Diango without previously owning them. And Clan Iowa's pickpocketing lockout now correctly resets for all players. So not a bad week, but do keep in mind, we're going to be getting the Clue Scroll overhaul probably next week, uh, unless something happened where it gets bumped back, but either way, we'll get something cool next week. Um, and we have a double XP weekend to prepare for, guys, so do be ready, and thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, later, guys.